All right, in this video, we're going to talk about solving equations that have exponents. So our first problem is 5 to the x power equals 625. So we want to know what would that power have to be so that I would get 625. So I'm going to do 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 until I get to 625. So I can figure out how many times that I have to multiply by 5. Well, in this case, it's 5 to the fourth. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 equals 625. And since x is the number where the exponent was, and my exponent is 4, that means x equals 4. All right, this one I have 4 times 2 to the x equals 128. Now before I can get to the exponent, I have to get rid of that 4 that's being multiplied. So I'm going to get rid of the 4 that's being multiplied by dividing by 4 on both sides. Then I have 2 to the x equals 128 divided by 4 gives me 32. So then I would do 2 times 2 times 2 until I got to 32, which is 5 times. So 2 to the 5th equals 32, which means x equals 5. All right, 6 to the x divided by 16 equals 81. Well, I want to get that x by itself, so I have to get rid of the divided by 16 piece by multiplying by 16 on both sides. All right. That leaves me with 6 to the x equals 1,296. Well, 6 to the 4th equals 1,296. Therefore, x equals 4. All right, this one has a fraction. 1 12th times 6 to the x equals 108. To get rid of that fraction, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, which means I'm going to flip that fraction and multiply on both sides. Well, when I flip 1 over 12, I get 12 over 1, which is just 12. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 12. That gets rid of that. That leaves me with 6 to the x equals 1,296. So again, just like the last problem, 6 to the 4th gives me 1,296. So x equals 4 again. All right, this one I have 4 fifths to the x equals 64 over 125. So there's nothing outside to get rid of. I can't get rid of that fraction because it's that whole piece is a fraction. Okay, so I have to know 4 to the what gives me 64 and 5 to the what gives me 125. And hopefully they're to the same number so that x will match. Well, I know that 4 to the third gives me 64 and I know that 5 to the third gives me 125. So if I take 4 fifths to the third, I would get 64 over 125. Therefore, x equals 3. All right, 6, I have 2 thirds times 1 half to the x power equals 1 sixth. This time I have to get rid of that fraction that's in front because it's not part of the piece being raised to the exponent. So I'm going to multiply it by the reciprocal, which means I'm going to flip that fraction over. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 over 2. So that gets rid of that. 1 times 3 is 3. 6 times 2 is 12. So that gives me 1 half to the x equals 3 over 12. Now I have to simplify 3 over 12 because 1 to the anything power is never going to give me 3. But 3 twelfths can be simplified because 3 goes into 12. So that gives me 1 fourth. 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 12 four times. So that's where the 1 fourth comes from. Now I need to figure out what number gives me 1 and then 2 to the what power gives me 4. Well, I know that 1 squared equals 1 and 2 squared equals 4. So 1 half squared equals 1 fourth, which means x equals 2. This one I have 2 fifths times 10 to the x equals 40. So again, I'm going to multiply by that reciprocal to get rid of that fraction. So I multiply by 5 over 2. That's gone. And then if I do 40 times 5 divided by 2, I get 100. So I have 10 to the x equals 100. Well, 10 how many times would give me 100? 2. 10 squared equals 100, so x equals 2. This one, 0 0.1 to the x equals 0 0.00001. All right, 
So I have to know how many times do I have to multiply 0.1 times itself until I get 0 0.00001. In this case, it's 5. So 0 0.1 to the fifth power equals 0 0.00001. Okay, and we could say that as 1, and then it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. So it's 1, one hundred thousandth. All right, so x equals 5. This one, I have 2 thirds times 3 eighths raised to the eight at raised to the x equals 9 over 256. So I got to get rid of that fraction by multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 over 2. That's gone over here. So I'm left with 3 over 8 to the x equals 9 times 3 is 27. 256 times 2 is 512. So now I have to figure out 3 to the what power gives me 27, and 8 to the what power gives me 512. Well, 3 to the third gives me 27, so I'm going to try 8 to the third and see if I get 512. Well, 8 to the third is 512, so that means 3 eighths to the third is equal to 27 over 512, which means x equals 3.